everybody, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where every day is a train show. We actually have a, a store full of customers right now, but we wanted to get a video up to you because we've got a whole bunch of new locomotives that hopefully will find their way rolling on your rails today. We're going to take a look at a couple steam engines and a whole bunch of diesels, so let's get started. We're going to go all the way to Broadway Limited to check out this Reading 484T1 that is decorated in the Blue Mountain and Reading paint scheme and this is one of my favorite steam locomotives here as you can see Broadway Limited did a fantastic job as you can take a look at the realistic coal load that is right here you can see the separately applied details you got the the bell happening here that actually does pivot there you got a whole bunch of great detailing here and linkage there are people inside of the cab as you can see there, I mean, this is just a fantastic model here, and this is actually depicting the real Blue Mountain of Reading 2102 that is up at the Reading and Northern Railroad. As a matter of fact, that engine is getting restored, and hopefully very soon, maybe sometime this year, we're going to see that engine on the rails. But to bridge the gap between then and now, we're going to take a look at what this engine sounds like, and hopefully that holds you over to get this pulling trains on your railroad today. So the 4A4s were very powerful steam locomotives. As a matter of fact, these T1s were actually uh, built from consolidation locomotives during the wartime. The United States government said that no railroad was allowed to design any new type of locomotives. So the Reading said, okay, and they just took their consolidations and added some more wheels, and now we got the T1s. So let's check out what these engines sound like here. Right, so here is the whistle. Here is the bell. Let's get some of that smoke happening, shall we? And away we go. Let's highball. As you can see, this is a great smoker. The sound sounds great. I particularly love the design of that tender. That is a really great looking design there. This is just a great looking engine. Now, of course, there's all the other uh, added Easter eggs that they have here for these engines, such as the crossing features. We got the announcement features. All types of things are in this locomotive, just like some of the engines that we've seen in the past. Now, you might be wondering, how much does this engine go for? Well, the retail value for this engine, and remember, it is a steam engine, is $549.99. But we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $439.99. That's a great deal to have on the steam engine, especially a limited run. Uh, uh, Broadway Limited, forgot the name for a second. Broadway Limited did do a run of running T1s and the Reading Ramble colors, the chassis special. But they never did a Blue Mountain and Reading version up until now. So this is a limited run. So if you remember the good old days when you used to see the Reading a Northern run, the 2102, or maybe you're getting ready for the new incarnation of that locomotive, you might want to get this on your rails today because it's not going to be here for long. So we looked at a really cool steam locomotive. Now we're going to take a look at some really cool diesel locomotives. And we're going to go all the way to Enscaland to check out some 
Dash 840 C's and Dash 840 CW's. Let's take a look at these bad boys here. As you can see, I have a bunch of different really cool looking road names here. One of my favorite, the Kansas City Southern. I have here an X Union Pacific that has been bought up at the CREX. I have here the Pan Air Railways. Those are the airplanes on the rail. I have here now the CWs. This is the Canadian National. I have uh, that Norfolk Southern. And finally, I have the CSX. Now, as you can take a look at these Dash 40 CWs, as you can see here, I have different lights depending on what road name it is. For example, if you take a look here at the uh, Canadian National and the Southern Pacific, you're going, or Norfolk Southern rather, you're going to see that I had the headlights up here. Whereas if you take a look at the CSX, you're going to notice I had the headlights down here. The CW Dash 4s also have ditch lights here that do rotate when you blow the horn. And then, of course, I had these older versions here. These are the Dash 40 C, so maybe these fit your era. These are just all really cool looking diesel locomotives, and especially if you're an N scale fan, you need a new diesel locomotive to pull some of your trains on your layout. I recommend these guys because these are really cool looking, uh, good looking engines, and I got a whole bunch of really cool looking row names as well. Well, just like we like to do, and really just because I like to play with stuff, we're going to check out some of these engines and see what they sound like. All aboard. All right, so we're going to take a look at one of the Dash 40 uh, CWs because I want to see those ditch lights uh, rotate. So let's check this out, shall we? Here is the horn. You hear the startup sequence happening here. And what's neat about this is too is the bell rang as well, and I didn't hit the bell. When I hit the horn, the bell instantly goes on, just like a prototypical engine. All aboard. Now there's a couple of things I want to showcase when I, when I bring this around. We're gonna take a look a little bit deeper on this engine here. All right, so one of the things that I noticed about this one, especially the CSS, is you can notice here it has a chassis system heritage unit, or heritage uh, patch rather. And this is one of the different variations that Atlas has done. They did a couple of different road numbers and each one of them have a different uh, paint scheme to it. Either it's the road number or a different patch. So there's a really neat looking uh, look on there. And of course the HO versions have those patches as well. And then I think one of the most distinguishing features about the Dash A, so if you take a look back here, just that radiator, the way that it protrudes out there, if you take a look at the back there with the headlight there, I think this is just a great look for a diesel locomotive. And again, if you're looking for a diesel engine to pull some trains on your layout, I think that these Dash A's could fit the bill. Now, these Dash 8s retail for $249.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $179.99. Anytime you can get a diesel locomotive for under $200, I think that is a good deal. So make sure you check out our website. We have a couple of different row numbers, as I said. Um, I think you need a bunch of these pulling some trains. So check it out at YankeeDabbler.com and get them on your layout today. Time for some more diesels and maybe some of the HO guys feel left out. Well, don't worry because I have some SW7 switchers from Broadway Limited to check out. And let's take a look at these guys here i have here one of the most beautiful diesel locomotives ever designed here the atlantic coastline and one of my favorite paint schemes in union pacific i just like the way that pops on that engine i have here the main central i have here the pennsylvania railroad i have here the chassis system and finally i have the southern pacific now as you can see each one of these engines although they are very similar in design sw's the sevens never really had a bunch of variations but if we take a look at some of the headlights here for example you can see that some of them have a dual beam or some of them have a single beam okay and there's a couple different reasons for that one could be the time period another could be this the uh, railroad and what they decide to do on these and i think a really neat thing about these locomotives is you can see i have a little brass bell there and it actually rotates too so that is a really cool look there on that engine doesn't actually serve a function. I just think it's kind of cool when they do stuff like that. You see the little EMD logo right there at the bottom. I mean, these are just really well done engines. And of course, you really wouldn't expect anything different from Broadway Limited. They do a great job on their pieces here. And I think that these are some of the most beautiful diesel locomotives that they have come up with so far. Now, 
The retail value for these diesel locomotives are $249.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $199. Remember what I said earlier about diesels under $200? Well, I think this is a tremendous deal to have on your layout. Of course, you go with sort of that engineer hall discount to get an additional 5% off your total purchase. But I think this is a great diesel locomotive, and, well, don't take my word for it. We're just going to play with it. I just like playing with trains. That's it. I have a disease. At least that's what my doctor says. Anyway, so let's check it out, and we'll see what this thing sounds like. So these SW7 switchers have Paragon 4. Here's the bell. All the Let's highball it. As I mentioned, there's a whole bunch of different uh, other sound effect features that we didn't take a look at. They read it too well, but let's check it out on this SW7. For example, here is the crossing horn. There's a couple of various other sounds. So as you can see that there is a whole bunch of different sound systems that are in here. And here's the neat thing about this too. It also has a keep alive as well. So if I take it off the track, if it hits a dirty patch or whatever, it will still light up momentarily because it does have that keep alive in it that keeps the train going through dead spots. So I think these are some spectacular look at diesel locomotives. And as my wife always says, DJ, you have too many trains. Get them out of here or else I'm leaving. I'm sorry. No, she usually says you can never have enough switcher diesels. At least that's what it sounds like in my head. Anywho, so come on to Yankee Dabbler. Get these engines on your lab because I think you're really going to like them. Conclude the engine day here at Yankee Dabbler with one more. We're going to go with another steam locomotive and one of the most famous steam locomotives that ever graced the rails. I'm talking about the Union Pacific FEF number 844. Check out this bad boy here. And as you can see, I have here one of the most beautiful steam engines that Broadway Limited has ever designed here. As you can take a look, the detailing is just phenomenal. I got all the different types of, uh, you know, I had the bell assembly here. The, uh, the number boards here, I had the logo there for the E44. As a matter of fact, my cow catcher even opens up here. If I can get my fat fingers in there to open it up. 
and I do have a pilot in there. This is a, such a great looking steam engine. This engine here, FEF, stands for 4A4, FEF. And this engine actually holds the distinction of being the only steam locomotive in the United States history to have never been retired. That's right, this engine has been going since 1950 on Union Pacific to active roster. So that's that's pretty good job security. As you can see, the detailing on this oil tender is just phenomenal. Here, I got a couple of people. Uh, they're driving this thing, right, Engineer Hall? No, they're, they're running. Oh, they don't have the steering wheel? Nah. No? Oh, okay. Well, they're running the locomotive there. And this is a, such a great looking engine here. I think you're really going to like this. Now, of course, this is the A44, which is the one that's still in preservation today. However, we do have a couple of other different road numbers. So if you want to depict a different uh, FEF locomotive, we have that here at Yankee Dabbler as well. This is such a great looking steam locomotive, and I think you're really going to like it. My personal favorite part is the tender. I just love that centipede look with all those different wheels on it. Well, let's check it out in action. All right, here is the whistle. Now check that out, whistle steam effect. When I blow that whistle, that smoke comes out. How awesome is that? And this is a smoker too. All aboard. One thing I could say is if you have a sensitive smoke detector in your house, this might not be the engine for you. I am utterly impressed with that sound system and that feature. That whistle steam is spectacular. It's one of the best ones I've ever seen on an AHO locomotive. So you're definitely one, gonna wanna get this. As I mentioned, I got a couple of the A44s coming in, but I also have a couple of the other different numbers as well. So if you don't necessarily wanna go with the A44, maybe you wanna go with the road less traveled, the A40 and A39, whatever. We have those available as well, but I do have a, a few more of the A44 simply because that one's more popular. Now, the uh, price for this one is $699.99. It's a lot, I know, but it's a spectacular engine. As you can see, it does a ton of features. I think that whistle effect, again, that's just kind of blowing my mind. I love that whistle effect. But we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $559.99. 
That is a great deal how to have on this steam locomotive. Of course, you can throw that engineer hall discount to help you out a little bit. But this is a great looking steam engine to have on your rails. Pull on either a freight train or a passenger train. Maybe you got that uh, 4014 not too long ago and you want to pair it up with the 844. Well, I think that would be a really awesome and expensive idea. So coming to Yankee Dow, like, get this engine on your rails. You're really going to love it. As a matter of fact, that one's already taken for because I'm taking it home with me. So I hope you enjoyed Engine Day here at Yankee Dabbler. I know I had a lot of fun, and let's face it, engines are more fun than boxcars or uh, hoppers. I know you people like them. We'll get to them. Don't worry. But for now, I wanted to take a look at some of the new engines that came in over um, from the span of Christmas Eve to New Year's to kind of show you what new items that we have on our uh, website. Now, hopefully, we'll find the way on your layout. So if you want the 844, the SW7s, the 2102 uh, T1s or some of the Dash for, uh, Dash 840Cs or CWs, check them out at YankeeDabbler.com, and I know you're really going to like them. Well, I want to thank you very much for tuning in to our show here. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall, make sure you click that subscribe button, get caught up on all the new things that are going to be coming up. As a matter of fact, Engineer Hall told me that if he gets... 4,000 subscribers at the end of the week. He is donating all of his trains to me. So let's get that going because, you know, I need, I, I have an empire to build, you know? So, I mean, maybe, um, all right, well, we'll see what happens. You know, you never know. All right. So thank you very much for tuning in. And we are going to conclude this week's uh, video with a rail fan video. We're going to go to the Wilmington and Western Railroad to take a look at their 440 American number 98 going through the Delaware landscape. Until next time, take care, everyone. And as I said, this one's going home with me because it is. You just have to catch me. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa. Where are you going, man? Get me in the back. Thank you, Scale. You're all gauge.